This video is sponsored by Leica. I won't be using the laser level in this video, but I will in the next when I install the chair rail. And that will make installing the chair rail a breeze because you can just put a nice level line all the way around the room. And when that video is done, I'll put a link on the screen. In this video, I'm going to trim out a window and then a door. I'll go real slow and try to cover any kind of a tip or trick I can think of that will help you get the job done. The first step is to get set up. And you want to take a little time here so you can work comfortably. You can see I've got my saw on a work table. I've built some supports onto the table to support the molding, and that will help to get more accurate cuts. I get started by marking out the reveal on the jam. The reveal is the small space before the casing starts. And I generally will use a piece of quarter inch plywood, hold it flush, and then trace a line. And I'll do the same thing in the vertical direction. Now I'll make the first miter cut. For the most part, your cuts will be at 45 degrees. This is a little tip. You can hold your casing against the jam at the mark, put a pencil line, and then use a finish nail. Put that a little bit below the line, and this will help support the molding while you're making your mark and eventually attaching the casing to the jam. Another one is, since I'm working with eight foot lengths, and I know that this is a lot less than eight feet, I'll take a rough measurement and I'll cut the molding heavy, at this case, in this case around 63 inches, and that way I don't have a, a big long piece of molding hanging off and I'm not dealing with that. So I'll cut it to a rough length first. Now I can align the inside miter with the line, the reveal line that I marked on the jam. And you can see how the molding is just resting on that finish now. And then I'll make sure I'm good on my left side and make a mark on the right. You want to check and make sure that you cut the molding to the right length and if everything's good then I like to use a little wood glue on the back of the molding. I'm using inch and a quarter nails in the nail gun making sure that I hold the casing at that reveal line and I'm nailing through the casing into the jam. And notice that I'm holding the nail gun like this and not like this. The nail coming out of the gun is more likely to bend this way or that way as opposed to up or back. So you're just less likely to get nail blowouts by holding the gun in this direction. This trim design has a back bend, which is a piece of molding attached to the side of the casing. And the reason for that has to do with the chair rail. So I'll go into that in the next video. When I'm using molding that has a back band, generally I'll trim the window out first and then I'll attach the back band to the side of the casing. However, in this case, on the left side of the window, it's a little bit tight here and it's going to be hard to get the gun in between this window and the side of the molding. So I'm going to attach the back band to the casing before I attach the casing to the jam. Now that I've got the casing up, I'll work my way around the window with the back band.
Once I finished with the back band, I changed the nails from inch and a quarter to two inches and nail through the outside of the casing into the stud framing. Okay, so now I'm ready to move on to the door and the door will move along the same way as the window did. In fact, the door's gonna be a little bit easier since there's only two corners. I'm going to start the door in the same way I did with the windows using my quarter inch spacer to establish the reveal on the jam, holding the spacer flush and tracing a line. I'm driving a nail in right at this reveal line. That way I can rest the molding on the nail to get a, a mark for my cut. And once I attach the molding, I'll remove the nail. I use a damp rag to remove any of the glue before it sets up and also a damp paintbrush works good to get into the tight corners. Okay, well that was the last door and the last piece of casing and back banding that I'll be using on the project. The next step is to design some kind of a flat panel system with a chair rail on top and I should have that finished in the video up next week. If you have any questions on today's project, just leave them in the comments and I'll do a follow-up video early next week. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.